hi everyone greetings from national skills network i am so glad today we are going to speak to a very senior person uh, from the domain of uh, technical training and hear from him about his growth his journey and also being the principal of one of the oldest centers of nttf that is nttf telicherry uh, we are going to get many more insights from him and we are going to focus on a very important emerging technology which is embedded systems and iot so i am very glad to welcome uh, mr ayappan r uh, to this talk that we are having today he is the principal of nttf telicherry so welcome to this talk sir it would be really nice to know more about the telicherry center and your journey at this center and also the long journey you have had at nttf it must be a very uh, you know satisfying kind of a career and uh, so how do you look back uh, you know from where you started and at present tell us about the center itself and maybe a bit of the history of uh, of the center also thank you madam so uh, i would like to introduce myself myself ayappan i've been with nttf since 2006 and personally i am the principal of nttf telicherry center telicherry center has got very much importance in the history of nttf because this is the place where nttf started in 1959 almost 65 years back i joined nttf in 2006 after resigning my job with the government company kelton kerala after joining nttf i been principal to nttf center darwad nttf center coimbatore then cochin talicherry talicherry i joined in 2013 worked up to 2017 then i was transferred to electronic city nttf and in 2020 i came back to talicherry and still i am here working as the principal and way back the history of NTTF. It all started with the help of six people in 1959. Started in Telicherry. Now it is spread across India. We have got more than 15 training centers at present. And our courses are of four levels: diploma, post diploma, post graduate diploma, then certificate level programs. This is only one vertical. we have another verticals also coming back to tertiary we are here having courses diploma tool engineering and digital manufacturing then mechatronics engineering and smart factory as well as computer engineering diploma programs along with that we have post diploma programs and one year certificate programs yeah uh so sir that was uh, very uh, you know inspiring to hear about your journey at nttf uh since we are going to focus on the post uh, diploma program today uh, which is on embedded systems and iot i would like to know more about this program and uh, how it uh, you know is relevant in today's context of uh, emerging technologies Okay, madam, it's a very right question from your side. First of all, we would like to inform you that NTFT is conducting only industry relevant courses matching with the needs of the present industry as well as the future requirements. Yeah. Coming back to one of our course, post diploma in embedded system. This is one of the most sought after course in present day scenario, because whatever technology you are looking into now. as well as the future see this embedded system and iot are the basics of next level requirements in industry already these two technologies are very much needed and being practiced in the present industry scenario if you come out with the future trends in technology maybe along with cyber security along with machine monitoring artificial intelligence this embedded system as well as iot plays a very important role mm. whatever software you have to implement definitely it requires a hardware 
that's where the role of embedded controllers if you talk about this automotive electronics we are in bs6 scenario any bs6 vehicle requires a minimum of 100 or more embedded controllers to be integrated into a single vehicle so that's where the embedded system stands and regarding iot embedded system is the backbone for iot whatever iot implementation is required it definitely requires a hardware that's where the embedded systems are there in coming back to iot iot has made our life very easy by making this tele metering tele monitoring and automotive control and say managing your industry from a remote place even doing surgery from a remote place data collection from a remote place everything is facilitated by iot that's where the importance of the course stands okay uh, so this sounds, uh, you know, um, very, very much aligned with, uh, you know, what we are talking about future technologies and emerging technologies, sir. So, uh, so for this uh, post-diploma program in embedded systems and IoT, uh, what are the entry criteria and uh, what is the qualification you look forward to when students want to enroll for this program? Okay, madam. So regarding the entry uh, criteria, as the name indicates, is post-diploma in embedded system. So those who have completed diploma in electrical, electronics, or uh, computer streams, or BSc electronics, or even BTEC students can join this program. What is the basic requirement is they should be able to uh, identify basics of electrical, electronics, and computer systems. That's all. So uh, what can the students expect in terms of the skills that they can acquire when they, uh, you know, take up this post-diploma program? Good, man. Actually, uh, we are the intake for these courses, diploma holders in electronics, communication, electrical, or automotive electronics, whichever they are completed. Mm. But however, in the first semester, we are revising the basics, starting from semiconductor technology, transistors, MOSFETs, then latest devices. Then we'll switch over to microcontrollers. In this course, we are introducing three microcontrollers as well as ARM controllers in the syllabus. So they'll get ideas on 851 series microcontrollers, Big microcontrollers as well as ARM controllers. There are theory and practicals based on these lessons. We make it sure that most of the time students are doing experiments with these microcontroller systems. That's how we are making. Plus, in their curriculum, in their second semester, they have to make one project based on the details we are given for first year and second year we put them for a project they have to do independently the project they can do either inside our premises and if somebody is interested to do it in the industry we are connecting them to the industry where they can do their project work meanwhile when they are in the industry they will get industry exposure how to execute an order, how to start the design, how to process with the schematic diagrams, bill of materials, then module-wise interconnections, everything they will learn. As well as in our institute training also, we are introducing the terms modular concept of any products. Mm -hmm. And whatever projects they are making, we ensure that they are very much aligned with the latest technology that's how we have made our curriculum as well as industry attachments 
Yeah, I think that's most important today uh, when we talk about technical training. It has to be aligned with the industry demands and requirements, especially in terms of skills and competencies. So you just mentioned about the opportunity for students to uh, go to the industry also, right? So is this like an apprenticeship or an internship program or is it just a small project work that they get to do in the industry? Actually, we are not putting them for any apprenticeship because nowadays it is difficult to get apprenticeship for post diploma candidates whereas yes. the industry is looking for some interns whereupon mm -hmm. they can join the ongoing projects of the company that we are also permitting okay the embedded system companies they require some interns to help them in the ongoing projects we join hands with those industries and put them as interns mm -hmm. during that internship they may they will be permitted to do the industrial project, but the industrial project details will not be uh, collecting because that is against the ethics. So that is one way to make them uh, familiar with the industry projects. Else, they can do independently inside our premises also that will be supervised and assisted by our senior faculty members. Okay. Okay, that's quite interesting. And uh, I'm sure many students would like to know uh, what is the kind of job role they can aspire for when they do this diploma. So can you uh, give us some uh, you know, details on this and uh, what kind of industry and what are the types of job roles? Okay. Now, regarding embedded and IoT companies, there are many starting from uh, the giants, that is Bosch. Bosch is the, as you know, he's the, it is a leader for automotive electronics. Starting from Bosch, the next chance is Continental or say Denso or Infineon or Tata Lexi. These are all embedded system solution providers worldwide. And uh, I'm very glad to uh, tell you that one of my alumni who has completed same post diploma embedded system some five years back from Electronic City when I was principal there, I could okay. talk to him yesterday. He's one of the uh, leading uh, engineer in Continental based in Electronic City. Okay. So very, yeah. very happy. And I have chat, uh, I did chat with him and he's, he has suggested what is the, the changes, what we have to do as on day, that also we are accepting. There is one way of improving our course. So already I had a chat with him. And he has suggested some points. Definitely, that is the, how we are revising our curriculum. Okay. And on the job roles, it is many. Starting from, say, the wearable devices, mm -hmm. which is very, very popular nowadays. Right. It requires embedded chips. And say, recently, I think I have seen in uh, newspapers that one gentleman having a wearable device he fall down on the road, but because of the device, promptly communicating to the nearest hospital, they could save him. That yeah. is where the wearable uh, devices stands now. So in the wearable devices, hardware as well as software is very important. Only a, an embedded system engineer can do. That's where it stands. And plus for all automotive solutions, all uh, machine monitoring, all industry automation, Wherever mm -hmm. there is automation, there is definitely a chance for embedded system provider as well as IoT solution provider. So wide is the chance. Yeah. So, and uh, as we already discussed, these are the emerging areas and there is huge scope for students to build their careers. So uh, what would be, let's say, your advice to students to enter into uh, this particular technology? So what I suggest is actually the youngsters of today, they have a lot of opportunities. Hmm. And they should see what are the emerging technologies rather than joining any old technology course. Hmm. So there I can say that, say for the next 20 years, an, emerging, an embedded system engineer or an IoT engineer is having a bright future. So hmm. stu students, those who have a little aptitude as well as attitude in programming mm -hmm. and seriously studying the environment, open minds, 
they have a good future in this field. There is uh, analytical skills required, as well as say programming skills, a lot of observations and open minds is required for taking up this course. Else, once they decide, decide to take the course, we are there. NDTP is there to support them. Okay. Thank you so much, sir, for sharing all these details. It was really lovely talking to you and learning so much. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much, madam. Have a nice day.